Hey, Chef Kendra here, and today we learn how to make pancakes and pancake syrup. Food manufacturers are playing a trick on you, convincing you you can't make this stuff at home because it's complicated. Well, it's not hard to do at all, and I'm here to prove it to you. In our big pot, we're adding butter, maple extract, vanilla extract, sugar, water, and finally molasses, which is the brown in the brown sugar. In the refining process, they extract the molasses from the sugar. Our pot is over medium heat. We're gonna make sure we get all our molasses in and we're gonna stir it up. If your area doesn't sell molasses, just go ahead and buy some maple syrup, which I happen to love. Make sure you get the grade B because it has a deeper, richer flavor and a cheaper price. We're gonna stir this until the sugar is dissolved. Then we're gonna bring this guy to a boil. Then we're gonna stir for five minutes. Then as you see, we're gonna pour it in a bowl to cool. Okay, on to our simple pancakes. The link to the recipe will be in the about section below. We have our ingredients here. We're tossing in some flour, now sugar, and goes the baking powder, and a bit of salt. Now we're going to mix our dry ingredients and set them aside. I want to thank viewer Curvy B Five Q U A Three below for requesting pancakes, and make sure you become a part of future episodes by requesting videos in the comments. Now we're going to mix up our wet ingredients. In the milk, go with some vanilla extract the best you can, then vegetable oil, and finally an egg. Just mix this really well. You want to make sure you break up the yolk so it'll be easy to mix into the final batter. Now we're gonna add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients and we're gonna whisk into everything that's combined, guys. We're gonna pour our batter into a measuring cup for easy pouring. We heated up a non-stick pan for four minutes. And we're gonna pour in our batter. I bet you've heard it a thousand times, so what's a thousand and one? When it bubbles up, we're gonna give it a flip. We're gonna cook it about 20 seconds on the other side and then it's done. Okay, let's blow our channel up. Tweet it to your friends, toss it up on Facebook. Yeah, I also have a Facebook page, so why don't you stop by there and drop a like. All right, you all have a fantastic week. Chef Kendra's out. Peace.